Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Camsley, you can call me Cam, and today I am showing off a little build that I did. I'm very proud of it. I wanted to build a full ranch uh, with like an orchard, a stable, and at least a two bedroom house um, on the lot that I'm currently doing my LP on. I don't know if this will eventually be Winona's home or if I'll build something else specific to her, but um, yeah, I wanted to tour it first and then show the functionality of it because there are a couple of things when I was like, oh, I'm gonna have to play test that. So I just want to prove that it will work. <laughs> and then the speed build will come after. So stick around if you want to see how the build came to life. All right, first things first, we have our little entrance to the ranch here, our nice ranch sign. Um, and we have a little bridge across a creek on the property, which your horses can step on and off of. I was a little worried since I ended up having to raise the platform once so that it didn't look weird that the horses wouldn't be able to step on and off it, but they are just fine. So you can see that you can easily ride on and off the property. Um, from there, we have a beautiful barn that I'm gonna go put the horse away in. All right, so you can go ahead and ride right into the barn because the walls are medium height. You can't, however, ride through like the gates, so you will have to dismount here, um, which is why I kind of made it kind of like this is more of a area where you would maybe get on and off the horse. You would get them their saddle and their blankets outside, and then you would just kind of lead them into um, their stalls yourself rather than like riding them in there. Oh, and Maya just left me a gift. <laughs> We'll have her go ahead and head on in. And then what I do, whoop, can you keep going? There we go. What I do is I like to, um, for gameplay purposes, I like to lock um, this for everyone but me. Um, that way the horses and the goats aren't like running in and out of the stall. And I don't have to worry about that because they do also have just free reign access to a full yard back here. So if they want to like hang out in their stable and they want to like eat, get some water, rest, they can do that. Go away, Katarina. Um, they can do that. And then if they want to run around a little bit, they don't have to wait for you to come and unlock the gate. So they have like access to some space to run around, but also not free reign to like run around the entire property. And then of course, if you wanted to like unlock this um, during the day so that the horses could maybe stretch their legs and run around on their own. You could also do that. Um, but I just remember I tried to base this off of the barns that I remember growing up. Um, and this is how I generally remember them being um, laid out where there was like a um, station where you would like lead them out, tie them up here, get them all ready for a ride. And then when you got back, you would tie them up, clean them up, and then lead them into their stable where they then had access to a pasture. So that's how the barn works. It's currently just one story. Um, you could probably easily add like a floor here and a ladder if you wanted to maybe have like a ranch hand sleep in the barn, or if you wanted maybe like an attic storage or something like that, you could very easily do that. But onto, I'm losing daylight. I gotta hurry up here. Onto the rest of the house. <laughs> So then we have the main house over here that has a orchard attached. Right now, I currently defaulted it to apple trees and cherry trees that are fully grown. Um, I don't know like if you reset into like a different season if they'll automatically shrink or what, but they should at least appear as trees even if they don't have fruit. I also put some of those debug grape vines down the center because um, I wanted, I really wish that the grape, that they had like refreshed maybe the grape plant to actually look like that when it grows because I really wanted to include grapes in my orchards, but I didn't want to put like a bunch of small bushes down. I thought that would look a little odd. So I just put down the debug ones. You can obviously take those out and replace them with whatever you want um, if you wanted to play in this and have like a different type of orchard. But on to the main house. So we come on down through here through our big open double barn doors and it's very open plan. <laughs> I had some trouble figuring out what I wanted to do for the floor plan. Um, and I decided just to leave it very open concept, <laughs> extremely open concept. So you come in here and you have a nice kitchen area. Um, not a whole lot of clutter. I don't I don't like to play with a ton of clutter in the house. And also if you were to like put this down, I don't know what packs you may or may not have. So if you have different clutter, depending on like the packs or CC you want, there's plenty of room for you to just put anything you want in the kitchen to clutter it up a little bit. But here we have a nice kitchen that has a sitting living room area right next to it. Um, I like the idea of maybe um, this is going to be really good for parties. If you're hosting, you can have someone in the kitchen cooking while there are also people over here just kind of hanging out and chatting. You could easily maybe put a fire or a TV on the fireplace or something like that if you wanted to. 
And then there's also a little entryway area with a piano, the new piano that we have, which is honestly very pretty and very gorgeous. And I love it. We also have a more formal dining area section over here. Um, so maybe if you wanted to move the conversation out of the actual kitchen and come down here where you have a nice view, um, out this window of the front of the ranch and the water, as well as a view of the orchard. Um, so I thought that was really nice. It's kind of small, um, but I didn't want to like stretch it out super big because it would make the rest of it look the rest of the building look kind of odd in my opinion. So we just kept it like that. Uh, through here, we have a bathroom and then stairs down to a basement, but really quick, I also want to go outdoors as well. Um, because again, we have another kind of entertaining dining area. Again, I really like the idea that this is a big old ranch with its own you know, nectar making, you probably have a lot of people over for dinner parties. Um, so there's a table out here with a few chairs as well as a bar um, with some, maybe some wine or some nectar bottles that have been brewed right here on the property. Um, so yeah, you could easily have a little party out here. The goats and the horse can step onto this platform. <laughs> they have at least. I thought that they couldn't with one platform, so I thought I was safe, uh, but they still did. <laughs> so they will be just running around out here and might come say hello while you're eating out here, which could be fun. <laughs> All right, so then down those steps that I talked about earlier, there is a little area down here for some nectar making. We've got some barrels. We've got a place for you to store your nectar. Also, I put a little radio down here because I thought it might be nice to, if you're gonna be down here making nectar for quite a while, your sims might want some tunes. Um, so I do apologize if they're always coming down to the basement to dance. Um, that's not my problem. <laughs> All right, and then as for upstairs, we come around, there's a little area for you to maybe display some trophies um, or again, some more clutter or some more plants. I went ahead and just put a couple of the um, horse riding trophies up there just to kind of showcase that that's kind of the idea that I had. And then over here, we have the master bedroom. Great window, great view of the property, really love that. We use some of the new um, wardrobe furniture, uh, my favorite swatch of the bed with a nice rug, very colorful, very bright. And then there's also a mirror with a little sitting area over there. Uh, and then there is a master bathroom, a full master bathroom. This is probably the one where I did use some items from other packs just because there wasn't really a whole lot of new um, bathroom stuff and it felt really empty when I didn't clutter it. <laughs> so if you don't have all these packs, then you know there might not be as much clutter or something, but uh, generally I think it will be fine if you put it down, you don't have the pack. You might just have to go in and put some new items in, but there's the master bedroom or bathroom. Where are we? Here we are. And then we go down the hallway and there is a little study area. Uh, I didn't put a computer down, but you could easily do that if you wanted to, or this could just be like a homework station um, with a, with a um, little decor piece behind it <laughs> in my head i was like oh, it would be nice if like this is a sim that works from home and they have like a camera and then they have like something behind them so their background looks nice so i don't know <laughs> that was my thinking um and then in here we have a second bedroom whoop that's where i am <laughs> me and Libby are in here uh where we currently have room for a child and a toddler um you could easily probably swap this around to whatever you want, but I love this little section for like the kid with like their homework. There's like a little mural um, of like, you know, the area there. They have their bunk bed. Um, and then there is a toddler bed over here as well, which does come from Eco Living. Um, and then some of the new stuff. Again, there wasn't a whole lot of like build and buy stuff for kids. So I didn't really put a whole lot of stuff in here, but um, you could repurpose this room however you wanted. And then Finally, we have a second bathroom. This is a full bathroom, just doesn't have like a bath. It's just a shower. Um, and that is that. So yeah, that is the full property. This is a 50 by 50 lot. So if you wanted to place it in a different world or anywhere else, it would just need to be at least that big. Um, there isn't a whole lot of greenery because it is more of like a desert lot that I put it in, but I did, you know, put some rocks and some grass and um, a couple of deserty plants particularly around like the creek. You could also very easily put like a little fishing sign in there and go fishing out of here. Um, but yeah, I'm really proud of this build. This was so much fun to make. I will, I see myself doing a ton more um, builds like these. Uh, so definitely keep an eye on my gallery, which will be linked down below if you want to see some more. 
Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. This will be up on my gallery by the time this video is live. It will be called Palomino Ranch. Um, it sh shouldn't, you shouldn't have to check include CC since I didn't use any. I do have some in my game. So sometimes I feel like the game is weird and it's like, well, you have it. So I'm going to include it. So you shouldn't need to, um, it should just be saved under Palomino Ranch and you should be all set. So I hope you guys like the little tour. If you want to actually watch the speed bill, I'm going to throw on some country tunes and we will do that right now. Thanks guys. Have a great day. Bye.